Matthew Derner was born and raised in Ontario, Canada. He studied his early years as a chef, and just like his lover cooking, he also fell in love with words and writing. In the early days of high school, he was introduced to Shakespeare's Macbeth and Hamlet that opened and the idea of what writing could be. From Shakespeare to the words of Ginsberg and Bukowski is where the love of writing poetry truly bloomed. Writing became part escape and part therapy, a way to deal with emotions that couldn't be verbalized. Um, it was the solitude within the words that he now shares with others. Poetry can truly save the soul, heal the wounds, and make the world seem bright again. Matthew is here with us today to present his book, published in collaboration with Eurobox, entitled The Quiet Things That Nobody Says But Everyone Hears. It is a series of reflection on love, on life, and everything in between. So welcome, Matt, and thank you for being here today. Super glad to be there. So let's talk about this book. Um, tell us something more. I mean, how is it structured and what is it about? It wasn't really structured in any um, certain way or sense. It basically, as I wrote new material and kind of researched some of my older materials, I just kind of placed the poems in, in sequence from there. Um, the main thing was the message that I was trying to put through. So there are elements of hurt, elements of broken hearts, elements of trauma, elements of hope, all mixed within the different pieces. I love the title. It gives the idea that something unsaid, a uh, secret, you know. So how did you choose it and why? Uh, to be honest, it kind of just came to me. The, the, first, the first writing or the first piece within the book is called The Quiet Things. And that's where it really started. Um, I always reference it to people that don't really understand the title too much as being more referred to body language, how you cannot say something, yet you can wear that emotion or that um, event on your body and you can express it through your body language more than you can your words. And are there main thematics you talk about in this reflection or are they simply about life? I mean, are they varied? The main thing is life. It, there is so much that we experience during life that sometimes it's hard for us to explain verbally, but we can write it out or we can uh, journal it even. This is kind of my version of journaling per se. So consequently, as it is about life, it is something universal. Um, I think that it is perfect for any readers out there, or is there a specific target that you had in mind? No, it could, it could be read by anybody experiencing life. It's, it's formatted in a way that it can be beneficial and a reference by any age group per se. On a more personal level, um, I think that above all, if we write poetry, poetry can have many, many different shapes and many, many different meanings for each of us. Uh, for you uh, specifically, what does poetry mean? Poetry for me, like I said with my, with my bio, was, was an escape. Um, I went through, when I went through high school, I was kind of that outcast style of student. I didn't really hang around with a lot of people. I kind of stuck to my own. And it was through poetry and through music that I kind of found who I was. And it was my love of music that inspired my love of writing as much as poetry. So it was kind of a hand-in-hand concept per se, um, that really created what 
I am presenting to you now. So one last question, which is much of a message for your readers, now that you have the chance to, because this is the first time that we can meet you officially after the publication. What would you like to tell your readers? Well, number one, thank you. I'm grateful that you're here and reading the stuff that I wrote. I hope it uh, inspires you. It heals you if you're on that journey and um, that you truly, uh, truly love the work that I've put out there. Thank you, Matt. Thank you again for, for your time today. And of course, we want to wish you best luck with your book out there. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here today. Within these stories, you'll find sadness, darkness, love, hope. It is a collection of moments spread over time. It is a little bit of the dark mixed with the light. The Quiet Things That Nobody Says But Everyone Hears by Matt Derner is now available in bookstores and digital platforms. It's a publication by Eurobox.